here with David Crum, owner of Quintessence 3 from Bayfield, Wisconsin. And how long did it take you to get down here? We left Friday and got in uh, late morning today. And did you make any stops along the way? Uh, we had finished pancakes in Houghton, Michigan. Gas in uh, Kemp Marina in the Sault Ste. Marie. Gas again in Franklin and off we go to here. And I heard you ate pretty well. We ate amazingly well. Lisa's a phenomenal cook. Uh, my partner's been doing all the provisioning on the boat for years, so uh, we always eat well. No doubt about that. Very nice. And can you tell me a little bit about the history of this boat? An old IOR you looking boat? got about a week. It's got a great history. About a week? About a week. Um, Let's hear it. In the short version, it was built in 1979 for the... Uh, hold on. I'm going to turn this down so we don't <laughs> compete with music. It was built in 79 for the uh, Admiral's Cup for a Brazilian owner. Uh, it uh, did the 79 Fastnet and uh, did a number of charters, uh, two or three Cape Town to Rio races. Uh, it was dismasted and actually totaled in the SORC in the early 80s. Uh, mid 80s, it was acquired by uh, Charlie Erickson, who named it Quintessence 3. I was fortunate enough to race with Charlie starting in the late 80s. Uh, he did a m bunch of different modifications on the boat interior, new keel, new rudder, new transom, extended, widened, massive modifications. Uh, sadly, we lost Charlie about 12 years ago in an airplane crash, and Myself and three other long-term crew members bought the boat from his estate and then about uh, nine years ago I bought them out and have been working on rebuilding and uh, continuing uh, racing an old classic. That's incredible. Can you tell me what are some of the latest updates? Have you done any work this year or are you holding uh, off? This year was a minor year for work. Uh, a year ago we pulled the keel and the mast sent it down to Minne a suburb of Minneapolis where we record a good chunk of the port side. The entire deck was record and uh, repainted and uh, it's a 40 year old boat. It needs a lot of love. A it's lot of TLC. Been, it's been ridden hard over the years, yep. Well that's the only way to use it. Yeah, exactly. And what are you looking forward to most about this year's race? Uh, sailing with a lot of good friends and hopefully doing well but it's more the community, it's more just being being together with a bunch of people that have raced on this boat for years and a bunch of new people that haven't raced on the boat for as long. So it's more just the community. It's the big thing about this race. I agree. Thank you so much. It was you a bet. pleasure meeting you. Thank you.